the yellow one has returned. And this time, he's bumblier than ever. What's up, my peoples? And go here, the freaking geek himself. And today we will be reviewing the Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class Bumblebee. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Now we have Bumblebee all like. Sup. He is from the Bumblebee movie. His name is a Bumblebee. On this side of the box, we got Bumblebee. With his little boombox. On the other side, we got Bumblebee again. On the top, Bumblebee movie logo. On the bottom, words and things and barcodes. On the back of the box, we have your obligatory product shots, things and stuff and stuff and things. And a little one-sentence bio if you want to read it. And that's basically it for the packaging. Then moving right along, here we have Bumblebee as he appears in the Bumblebee Solo movie. And he's a Volkswagen. Look at him! Look at him! Oh, it's just so precious. But yeah, pretty cool figure. I do quite like it. Let's get in closer here so we can take a look at the details. Not a whole lot of details, but something to look at here. We do have some transparent plastic there for the headlights. Got little Volkswagen symbol right there on the hood. You got the bumper just done in uh, gray plastic. Got the gray rims going on. You got the trans clearance. Plastic for the windshields and the windows going all the way around. Got the taillights picked out in red. There's the top, there's the bottom. Visible head syndrome, which is totally screen accurate. If you saw the trailer, that is totally screen accurate. He rolls as rolling things should. Hooray for rolling, and there you have that. Now, for comparison, here he is with the Masterpiece G1 Bumblebee. So you can see how they scale with one another. Here he is with G1 Bumblebee because it's precious! So, so precious. Vroom. Here he is with the other Studio Series Bumblebee, the Camaro version. So you can see how that works out. Here he is with Studio Series... Optimus Prime, so you can see how they look side by side. And last but not least, here he is with Evasion Mode, Optimus Prime. I figured this would be uh, quite fitting, the movie bots with their G1 alt modes. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, there you go. So now let's talk about accessories. Uh, the first thing you get is his, uh, his battle mask. As you can see, it's actually pretty nicely detailed. We got some metallic paint there for the eyes. You got some nice detail going on. So you have his uh, battle mask. You do get his gun arm here, his blaster arm. You can see with some silver there on the barrels, some black. It's a pretty nice detail. So you get that as well. And you get a forearm blade here. You can see the blade itself done in a nice silver. So, you got that. And all of this can store on the vehicle mode, which is quite cool. Now, as far as the battle mask goes, uh, there is a tab right there, and there is a slot right there. So, you just take the battle mask, and that will just slot in right there, like so. You take the arm cannon, and this just goes over this tab right here. And that is how that stores. And you take the forearm blade, and it pegs onto his forearm, oddly enough. And you just tab that on right there, like so. And there you go. You have all of his accessories stored on the vehicle mode, which is pretty cool. And now the front of the car has horns, but hey, why not? Dare I say why not, but pretty cool though that all the accessories do store on the vehicle mode. So yeah, that is a pretty much it for the alt mode. Pretty cool. He's a little Volkswagen. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's! So first thing we want to do is remove the weapons, remove this, remove the uh, battle mask. 
You can leave this attached if you want to. Like, honestly, if you want to just plug this onto his arm and never take it off, you don't have to. As you can see, it doesn't affect the transformation. It just stays right there the whole time. I'm going to remove it just because I just... Just, just because I want to. So There you go. So now that everything is free and clear, we can begin the transformation. So the first thing you want to do is just come back here to this rear section and just bring this down like so. You want to come down here and you can see sometimes they come undone on their own when you're just kind of moving stuff around, but there are little pads that go into the sides of the body here. Just pull that out a little bit and you can bring the arms up. Just bring that out a little bit and just bring the arms up. And once you do that, I need to raise the camera so I have room to operate. Not you, just me. So the next step is to just take this front section here, just kind of push that up, and that will just pop all of this up like so. Just bring all that up. Now you can take these side panels here and just bring them out. Take these sections here with the wheels and unpeg them. Here's the little peg. This goes in there. Just bring all that out. Unpack that, bring all that out like so, and we are on our way. So we're going to just start on the legs here. So the legs, there are tabs that go right up in here, if you can see it. See the legs tab in right in there, so you just kind of want to lift, lift that up and just rotate the waist 180 like so, and now we have room to operate on the legs, so we can just split the legs here and split the legs back here like so and now we can commence so you just want to take this whole rear bumper section just bring that back as far as it'll go this section here just comes down on a double hinge this armature is on a slider so you want to take this and just slide it outwards like so and then you can bring this down and there are tabs that will go into a slot right up in there so just push all that in, like so. Then you just take the foot, it's on a double hinge, just take it and just shift it forward, like that. And there you have a leg all done. Second fast, just like the first. So again, just bring that back as far as it'll go. Bring that down, slide that over, and then just bring that down and tab all that in, like so. Shift the foot forward, and there you have the legs all done. So at this point, we want to take the arms and just swing them out on that hinge, and we're going to take these assemblies here and just rotate them like so, and they will just, you see this little tab just going to go up in here, and this little tab, if you can see it, that little black tab is just going to go right in there with the arms pegged in, in vehicle mode so just get all that lined up and then the front bumper section here with the headlight just shifts inward like that at an angle and you got that done same thing on the other side just bring that down shift all that in easy peasy lemon squeezy then you just rotate the arm bring it down flip out his hand rotate the arm bring it down flip out his hand and you got that done so now let's work on all of this is hanging off of him right now so what you're going to do here is take the section and that will fold in. This section will fold in. And here's where you have to do a little bit of forcing. It's, it's not too bad, but it's still a little scary considering all this is on a trans clearance piece here. And it just, it scares me a little bit, but you're basically going to take, i raise his arm up here so you can see. So you're going to take this whole section here and you're just going to bring it up past that. And then you're going to focus camera. There we go. And then we're going to push it up past this little lip right here, which this is where it gets a little scary. So push it up past there like that. We're not done yet. We still have to push it up just a little bit further, which is still a little scary. And it will just soup into a little spot right there. Don't know how well you can see it. There you go. And you can see how that hinge and everything just fits right into that little groove that's specifically cut out for it. So that's how all that sits in there. 
it's like I said, it's a little scary to do because you're having to kind of force things a little bit more than you would like considering this is on just this transparent piece. We'll see how that stands up over time, but hey, I don't know, but it is what it is. But once you do that, we'll just come back here again. You take these rear windows and you just swing them down, take this panel and fold it in. Swing it down, fold it in. You can angle those back however you wish. And I think we're done. Are we done? Yes, we're done. We're done. And there you have little bumblebee in his robot mode and he's just a cute little bumblebee yes he is yes he is i like him i like him he's cool so let's get in close here so we can take a look at that noggin you can see some nice silver paint there on the face the eyes are painted blue got a little autobot symbol right there on the forehead yeah, all around a nicely done head sculpt in my opinion. He just looks adorable. Look at him. Yeah, Sorry. you can see. You do get a uh, faux hood piece there in the center, which I'm fine with. You get some nice silver there, going down the arms. You get some nice small detail there on the ab section. Some more silver paint there on the inner thighs. Silver paint on the shins. Silver paint on his feet. With some nice detailing going on there as well. And moving up the back, he does have a bit of junk hanging off of him and definitely has a backpack, as you can see, but oh well, it is what it is. Now, articulation wise, uh, the head is, I believe, yeah, it is on a ball joint. You just don't get too much wiggly waggly out of it. Just minor wiggle and waggle. It can uh, move up a little bit, can move down a little bit. Obviously, it can rotate into a full 360, although on mines, this is really, really snug. The shoulders are on a ball joint, which also are really snug on mine. But you know, it's going to do a full 360 if you get around the door wings there. Can move in and out at this joint as well as the transformation hinge allows some extra upward movement there. Uh, you do have 90, slightly over 90 degrees of bend at the elbow as well as rotation at the elbow. Uh, the wrists can just move inward due to transformation. You do have waist rotation. The hips are on a ball joint. Legs can move forward that far. You can do them high kicks back that far upward. That far, uh, you just get, you do get some thigh rotation there. Again, that joint is quite snug on my copy. And you get 90 degrees of bend there at the knee and the feet can move up. They can move down and you do have a very good amount of ankle tiltage there. So now let's run through all the accessories and how they work. Of course, the arm blade just Plugs in right where it was in vehicle mode, right there. So you can slash, 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 slash. So you can do all kinds of that. Uh, the arm cannon here, you're just going to take the existing forearm and just pop it. You don't want to pop his hand off. That's not what you want to do. You want to pop the forearm off. There you go. Just pop that off. And, and just plug the arm cannon in. There you go. And you can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. Now as far as the battle mask goes, you do have to remove his face. So you just have to kind of get in there. And it's not that easy to get his face off. Oh, there you go. And it just fell on the floor and it's been lost forever. Where is it? No, oh, here it is. Found it. I found it. I found it. There it is. And you just take the battle mask and that will just tab on in its place if you get it lined up properly there we go there you go he's got his battle mask on he's got his weapons he is ready to do the battles and you can store everything you're not using on him uh you can store whatever face you're not using this is weird how this works you can see on these windows there are slots it's on either side and you just Take the extra face and it just slots in right there and that's how you store his extra face which is kind of weird because it's just facing forward too and that's just kind of that's just kind of awkward and disturbing i don't 
that I don't know. That's just weird, but hey, it's storage. If you need storage for it, why not? Dare I say, why not? And whatever extra arm you're not using, you just use this slot here. There are tabs on either side, and you can just take the extra arm and just plug it right back there. This one doesn't want to stay. Hey, you stay. No, this one doesn't. No, come on. Why don't you want to work with me now? Again, because the camera's on. There you go. You can store the extra arm back there if you want. And you can do that with the forearm cannon as well. As far as the arm blade goes, um, you can store everything on his back at the same time. It's basically just kind of one or the other, but not both. And this does actually tab in quite securely. Release, Bumblebee. Release! Release me! Release! Thank you. Jeez. But uh, the forearm blade, the instructions just have you just kind of laying it across these two tabs, like so. You can have that stored. And obviously, if you have that there, then there's nowhere to plug this. So it, uh, you kind of have to work around that somehow if you want to store everything um, on his back. This likes to fight me now. This didn't want to fight me before, but no, because the camera's on. Because the camera's on. Of course, because the camera's on. But, uh, I guess maybe you could just kind of do that. Of course, it's sticking out the side, but I don't know. And then just have that tabbed back there or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not really, but, hey. I'm trying. I'm trying. Best I can do. There you have that. Now, let me get his regular face back on real quick. There's that adorable face of his. There it is. So, there you have that. And now, Fikel Parasun. Here he is with the masterpiece. G1 Bumblebee. So you can see how that works out. And here he is with G1 Bumblebee. The, uh, the keychain version, anyway. Because it's precious. So, so precious. Buzz. And here he is with the previous Studio Series Bumblebee. So you can see how that works out. You can see the new Bumblebee is a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller than the previous Studio Series Bumblebee. So, there you have that. And here he is with Studio Series Voyager Prime. So you can see how that looks. And with the Evasion Mode Prime. So, there you go. And of course, the last thing to talk about is uh, the backdrop, which is in the box. Slide that out. Get out of here. Open that up. And we have Charlie's Garage here. Studio Series 18. Transformers, the Bumblebee movie logo right there on the base. And we can just take Bumblebee and just plop him down right there. And as always, a nice little display option if you want to take advantage of it. So there you have a Studio Series Bumblebee, a pretty cool little figure in my opinion. The transformation for the most part is pretty enjoyable. Um, the only thing I don't like is how much you have to kind of force that backpack to go where it needs to go. That's the only thing I don't like. It kind of scares me a little bit. But other than that, transformation works pretty well. So yeah, all around, um, nicely done. Solid figure in my opinion. And I do quite dig this look for Bumblebee. I like this look for him. And I'm definitely uh, looking forward to seeing the movie. So there you go. Now, if you would like any Studio Series toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below. So you can check that out. You can check out the Transformers Movie Toys playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class Bumblebee, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Oh, in your face! Bumblebee, come here, come here! Listen, we're being hunted! Now I have a plan!
I'm going to disguise myself as an old junky truck that no one will want, and you disguise yourself as an old junky car that no one will want. It'll be the perfect disguise. What are you talking about? No one is going to find us and bring us to their garage. That doesn't happen. Now do as I say. I heard that. 